If I ever needed uh, a reason to absolutely love my job, today is it. Um, my name is Walter O'Neill and welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. I'm a UK reseller. I buy and sell antiques, collectibles and jewellery for reselling, flipping for a profit. And you'll see today why I love my job so much. I've bought some absolutely spectacular things down at my local flea market today and I absolutely love them. And when you see them, honestly, you'll understand why I'm so addicted to this job. Such a diverse range of items and some really, really rare pieces. What can I say? Shall we get started on today's haul video? So we'll start off with some of the medium pieces and we'll work our way up to the best stuff. And I got some beautiful things. Now this is really nice in itself. So we have a studio pottery lamp. Um, it's already wired and everything. It uh, should be part tested before sold, so I'm going to have to send it to my local electri electrician. Um, but this is Port Isaac Studio Pottery. And it's um, a husband and wife studio pottery. And this one is all scraffito designed, where the design is cut into the um, body with dolphins. Really, really nice. Tall lamp. It's talking 18 inches, 20 inches, something like that. Maybe a bit more. And it's in beautiful condition, but look at, the, look at the quality of that. As usual, I will splice in photographs of the item at the end of each one, as along with a little snippet of the information. But a beautiful studio pottery lamp, cost me £15. I see that at about £65, £70 online. Now we all know the famous yellow submarine by the Beatles. Well, that's exactly what this is. This is a Corgi yellow submarine for the Beatles. And as you can see, it is in mint condition. The only thing it's missing is this box. In the box, these are selling for two to 300 pounds. No problem at all. But this is mint. There's not a scratch on there. Really is as clean as you want to find it. It'd be worth me investing in uh, buying an empty box for this one and putting it in a box because it really is mint. Now, out of the boxes, they sell anywhere from sort of 30 to 70 pounds, depending on condition. This one is mint. Honestly, I could put it in a box tomorrow and you wouldn't even know it's been taken out of the box. It looks that good. Haven't had one like this for a long time. This cost me 12 pounds. 12 whole pounds, absolutely love it. And that's definitely heading for the website. Really nice little thing. I, you know, I just can't wait. I, I'm going to show you one of the nice items, and you know, so it's one of the some of the nicest things I've had in a while, or that appeal to me. Now, I'm not going to tell you what this is straight off. I'm going to show you, and we're going to see how many of you guess what this is. Now, I'm going to give you some clues. If you look here, you can see shells. Do you see all the shells and the sea crustaceans all over it? So already you know this has been in the sea for a very, very long time. So already you're thinking shipwreck. Okay, you're on the right track. So let's give you a good look at it. So you've got a wooden center and bronze mounted on either end. Have you got it yet? Tell you what it is. Think Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Cannons. 
when you load a cannon with your ball and your powder and everything and you're not ready to fire and you want to keep it dry what do you do you plug the end and this is a tampion uh, which is basically a cannon plug so obviously this has been on a ship that's been sunk that had cannons so <clears throat> you can imagine how far back that goes um, I haven't attempted to date it yet but from all this crustaceans and the sea life now that's living on this you know this has been under the water for a very long time now I paid a bit of money for it, I paid 30 pounds well, a bit of money but if you love trench art, militaria, what better than a genuine antique cannon plug that's been sunk. So it's obviously seen battle because the ship has sunk. It's got a good age. The wear on there really has got a good age. And all this sea life, you know, it takes time. And this verdigris on the bronze really is a nice item. Now, really excites me to be honest with you. It doesn't look a lot to a lot of people. Sandra came with me on Saturday when I bought this. And she looked at it and it didn't appeal to her at all. She just didn't see the appeal in it. Now, to me, I love the history behind this. I'd love to know what ship this was on, if it was a famous battle or something like that. You, you just, unless you cleaned up the bronze and seen if there was any markings on it, you wouldn't know. But, um, yeah. What a beautiful thing. I think it's worth three figures, no problem at all. It's worth a hundred, in my opinion, purely because where are you going to find another? They've got to be so rare. And to find one with all these shells and everything on it, you know, if you, you wanted that on display in your military cabinet, that's going to look, wow, it's just going to look amazing. I'll splice in some photographs of it and close-ups of the shells and the crustaceans and everything all over it. And the way, and you'll just see what I mean, it is just so beautiful. But it's not going to be going for less than £100. And to be honest with you, if it didn't achieve £100, I'd put it in my own cabinet. I absolutely love it that much. I just love the fact you can go to a flea market and you don't know what you're coming home with. And that is exactly why I love this job. And I got and more spectacular pieces to come, but I'll get to them in a minute. Got a really nice pair of fine cut crystal uh, candlesticks. Now these are signed designer. Uh, there you go. And the designer of these is Oleg Cassini. Now these cost me a fiver and they should be retailing at about £30. No problem whatsoever for a pair of quality candlesticks like that. Again, for another fiver, off the same uh, gentleman, I bought this beautiful Allen Bay vase. Now, I don't know if you can see, look at that beautiful colouring going through it. When the light comes through this, it's quite spectacular. It really is. You can't see it uh, really on the film, but... And it's still got its original Allen Bay label, which makes life so much easier. Now that... Again, should retail 20 to 25 pound for an Allen Bay vase like that. And again, they only cost me a fiver. So I'm really pleased with them. I've had a bit of Welsh pottery, Ueni. And this one was presented for the Corn Town Show in 1994. So, people who collect Ueni pottery, this is a nice little trophy. Ueni pottery down in Bridgend area of South Wales. 
Um, that came in, it was only a pound. I wouldn't leave me there for a pound. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, it's probably worth 10 or 15 pounds, but it was a pound. So I had that. Next piece I had was really nice, really appealed to me. I thought for the design of it, it's spectacular. So I'll take the ball off. We've got a really nice pair of cast iron hands. Look at the quality of the casting on them hands. Now they're not old, but I just thought it was a really nice bit of sculpture. So you've got the cast iron hands that themselves should be worth, I don't know, 30, 40 pounds, something like that. They're really just beautiful to look at. And you could display them just as a pair of hands like that on the side. The gentleman who sold them to me said the ball didn't come with them, but he put him with them because he liked how it looked. Now this is a bronze ball. Um, what it would have been originally, I don't know, but we have a bronze ball. It's got some splits. It's got well, one split and a dent there. Um, however, they really do go together well. It just looks the part. You know, it's almost as if the hands are holding the globe or holding the world. And it really, the patina looks good, but they wouldn't mix bronze and cast iron. They'd just be another cast iron ball. Um, so I don't believe they belong together. So I do believe his story that he added the ball. But I'm going to sell them together at about £45. Something like that in the shop. Uh, they owe me £20. And I just think that's such an unusual thing to sell. You know, it looks spectacular. Just the hands holding the globe. As you know, I buy, always buy miners lamps. Well, this is a reproduction, and I mean a full-on reproduction. Um, brass miners lamp, a safety lamp, whatever you want to call them. And this one, it cost me a tenner. It's going to go in the shop here for 20 quid. It's nothing spectacular, nothing special, but it is still double your money. This next piece, again, I absolutely love. I don't think it's got a lot of age, it's probably mid-century. And what we got? It's obviously framed in glass. And we got some Chinese acupuncture prints. Again, I'll splice in images after these so you can have a good look at them. The Chinese acupuncture. Isn't that unusual? Really nice, nicely framed, nice bit of wear on the pages. I mean, I don't know the exact age. I'm assuming mid-century, 1950s onwards. Um, I just think they make a beautiful display and they're really unusual. You know, Chinese acupuncture. Now I paid 15 pounds for this and I, I rate this at about 45, 50 pound again, something like that, no problem at all. So, and it doesn't need no work, just need to clean the frame uh, and the glass because it's got a bit of stuff on there, price labels and things like that. I just think it's a nice item. You know, there's an, a lot of people who would be interested in displaying that somewhere. So again, that's one for the shop. I'll put it in the shop here. Chinese acupuncture. It's just not something they see every day of the week. And I really, it really appeals to me. I've had a couple of really cheapies. I've had a Daniel lighter. It's missing the uh, little cover on the bottom by there, but it is a fully signed Dunhill. And it needs gas, I think. But it's not in bad condition, stinking dirty, but Daniel lighter for two pounds. 
if it had the, um, the cover on the base and it was nice and clean and mint, then you're probably talking 40, 50 pound. In that condition, you're probably talking 20 quid. So you're still talking probably 10 to one. Um, and then I bought this, looks absolutely nothing. Um, old key ring with some keys and bits and bobs on. But you, on there, you've got a brass propeller, which is really nice. And then you've got two brass checks or plaques. Now, that's a safety key number two and an EM60, whatever that is. Now, with the propeller, I would probably say they're shipping checks of some description. You obviously liked nautical items with the propeller, so that's going to make a job lot on eBay for probably 12 quid, and it cost a pound. Yeah. Again, not a lot of money, but that, that's going to sell probably within two or three days, four days. Um, and I'll get a tenner for that easy enough. I'll ask 12, get a tenner. It's 10 to 1 on my money. I'm going to show you my star lot in a minute, and then i got a few more to show you. Um, we'll carry on first of all with uh, all about Mrs. Beaton's cookbook. Now, Mrs. Beaton's are my big tip. All the chefs are taking these Mrs. Beaton's and redoing the old recipes. Now this one is a 1967. First edition is 61 of this, this book, and this is the ninth impression. 1967 so it's still got some good age and but these mrs beaton's recipes and that as i said the chefs are all buying these cookbooks up um believe it or not some mrs beaton's are up 100 200 pound this one um it's gonna retail probably 20 quid 25 quid and again it came in for a pound two pound it was something like that i can't quite remember a minute it was either one or two pound Okay, let's show you my star lot before we move on. This is the favourite for me. It appeals to me and I absolutely love it. And this is an African Benin bronze of the Queen. And it's quite spectacular. Beautifully cast. Look at the quality. Yeah. Now, they were asking a hell of a lot of money down the boot sale, for a boot sale, or flea market, whatever you want to call it. They were asking £150. Try as I may, and I mean I tried, um, to knock them down. I, tr I went in at 75, I went in at 80, um, went in at 100, 120, 130, 140. In the end, I had to pay the 150 A lot of money, I know. But... I saw the quality in it, I thought, a lump this size, you're talking probably two foot tall, I haven't measured it yet, but it's looking foot and a half, two foot tall. So it's a fair size, it's fair weight, good quality, lovely original patina, it hasn't been cleaned. Just look at that. Isn't that stunning? Now, I actually sat down with a cup of tea afterwards and done some research. I've actually found an identical one on eBay. Uh, have a look. £520 they're asking on eBay. Now, I did find similar versions on Google, on private websites, asking 700 to £1,000. Um, so for my £150, that was a cracking buy. This is going to be going on the website for about £500. And I don't care if she never sells, she can just sit there and probably come home, come, come to display in my home. Because I absolutely love it. You know, you imagine that in a setting, in a London house, on the entrance table as you're coming in, you know, it's worth every penny of the 500. Cost me 150, um, and I don't care if she don't sell. And believe me, there was a queue of dealers stood behind me to buy it at the 150, and I'm not exaggerating. Stuff like this doesn't turn up. It's 20th century, I'm under no illusions it's 19th century, guys. This is 20th century, this was 19th century, you'd be talking a lot more money than that. Um, but the quality is there, it's bronze, it's just spectacular. Blast look at it. Again, don't forget, there'll be photographs of everything um, at the end. Isn't it just wonderful?
you know, you don't expect to find this type of quality at car boot sales or flea markets. You know, you'd expect this stuff in good auction houses or good good antique fairs. You know, that cannon plug, the Benin bronze, the studio pottery lamp, the Chinese acupuncture, you know, some really interesting, wonderful lots. Do you remember uh, a couple of videos back, I bought a selection of 1960s uh, silk scarves, Christian Dior, um, oh, I can't even think of the other ones, Mary, Mary Quant, uh, there was a few anyway. Well, anyway, the same uh, gentleman arrived this week and he had an entire bag of silk scarves, 21 silk scarves. All vintage. Let me see. Who's this one by? I'm gonna have to do some uh, work on the um, designers. Luca Castellini. So that sounds Italian. Let's have a look. Yeah. But there's 21 silk scarves in here. Well, I say silk. There's a, there are some polyester ones in there, but majority of them are silk. But they are beautiful designs. Most of them are signed. Really nice vintage. <laughs> I love the pattern on this one. Who's this by? Laura Burgess. So I'm going to have to do a bit of research again on these. However, these are probably going to go on another job lot. I'm going to put the silk ones onto the website and the polyester ones will go onto eBay. But for 21 scarves, majority of which are silk, you've got to have a little guess on what he charged me. And some of these are absolutely spectacular designs, and I mean really nice. Look at that. <laughs> Is that not banging 60s or what? £15. Oh, some of these are just stunning. Personally, if I was to say a five or a scarf, there's a hundred pounds. But some of these are gonna be up 15, 20 pound a scarf. Um, some of them are gonna be a fiver, some of them are gonna be up 15, 20 pound, depending on who they are. And you've got some plain ones. But even these are elegant, you know. Who's that by? Cor Cornelia James of London. You know, it may be a plainer looking one, but it's an elegant, almost art deco look to it. I love the black and white on that one. That's, that's actually a nice scarf. Not everybody's into this banging 60s pattern. But they are, they're all signed. So, for 21 scarves for £15, to be honest with you, it was almost Christmas, it was a gift. He was being very kind to me. I'm going to show you a more because I know there's going to be scarf lovers out there who want to see the patterns. This one is stunning. Do you like birds? Is it signed? I cannot see a signature on that one. Not signed, but it's a real nice scarf. Do you like birds? I'm going to shoot through them pretty quick now uh, because I want to move on to other stuff. Manzuni. I want you to see them all just in case there's any staff lovers, but I'm just going to go through them quick. <laughs> Little uh, tiger? No, leopard. Leopard. <coughs> Excuse me. 
to be honest with you, these were such a gift of fifteen pound for this for the lot. Look at the colour in them, uh, beautiful contrast of colours. Of these long ones. I don't think there's too many more left. This one has got a Persian look to it. We're going through them. Some of these are quite. Um, <laughs> strange and if they're not common and they look a bit weird then they're probably designer <laughs> i know it's a strange way to look at them but if you haven't seen them before then the likelihood is they're a bit more unusual Birds again, no signature that I can see. I think it's the final one of the scarves. So, 21 scarves for 15 pounds. How many of you would have turned that down? Absolutely amazing, love it. Um, got a couple more buys to show you. Not a lot more now, um, and nothing as great as the others, but this is quite nice and pleasant. It's almost comical. So we got probably a 1960s print, Giles print. It's uh, marked down here. And what you have here is a military scene. Wedding orders, in case of rain, household cavalry wear cloaks. Brigade of guards will wear capes. Royal Navy and Royal Marines will, will not cloak. And then you've got a box of umbrellas, hot water bottles, bed socks, and so forth. It's just quite comical. Cost me a pound, and I just thought it was a comical print. And that's going to go out probably 12 quid, 15 pound here in the shop, just as a nice little curio. And this one I quite liked. Again, um, I'm going to have to get an eyeglass on this, but I think it's a hand-coloured print. It's just an old town street with a baker there. They've obviously uh, wanted the bakers out, you know, pointed out. So it's just a nice uh, little thing. Well, that one's got flowers. That one's a mill. So maybe it's Baker's Street, I don't know. But it's a nice hand-coloured print, I think that one is. And again, it cost me a pound, and again, it's going to be 10 or 15 pounds. It's not going to be fortunes, but it's going to be a good return on a pound. You have to admit, that does explain exactly why I love my job. When you can go out and you can buy the bronze, the cannon, you know. Ah, no. To be honest with you, the biggest trouble I got is wanting to part with some of this stuff. Because I buy what I love. So if it doesn't sell, I can live with it. And in all honesty, I can live with pretty much everything I bought. There's not much I wouldn't want. Um, I may end up splitting the scarves up. Now I've paid around £300, £350 out in today's little haul video. But I think there's going to be somewhere between 1000 and... 1200 return on my three 350 pounds before costs all in all i think um it's a cracking haul the scarves are going to be good money and as well as are some of the other pieces you know some really unusual finds i don't know what you think have you got a favorite my favorite well, my favorites i got two favorites which is the cannon plug uh the tampion and the uh, bronze ben in there head that's my two favorites clear favorites by far and to be honest with you i don't care if i put those in my own house they're beautiful 
That's me for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. If you have, go check out some of my other haul videos. I've had some amazing things of late. Um, the last half dozen or dozen haul videos have been spectacular stock. So go check them out. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, always helps with the YouTube ranking and things. And if you've enjoyed, please give a share. Guys, thanks for watching. You have a nice day.